guys, what is going on? Yes, I have been away for a minute. Just fixing things up on the channel, so to speak. But also, I've kind of disappeared behind the scenes. Anyway, um, I'm back. Yes, I'm just in time for RGT tomorrow. Yes, I'm just in time to bring this video to you. Because this is one of those videos where we got to be honest with ourselves. Now, to all my Xbox uh, fans out there, y'all know who I am. Y'all know what I stand for. Y'all know what I, what I mean when I say the things I say. So this video, you already know, if you pay attention to how I conduct myself and how I say these things, especially on Xbox shows, you would know that this is not coming from a place of malice or anything. But this is something that definitely needs to be talked about. Now, as you guys already know, Insomniac Games has pretty much shocked the world with the reveal of Wolverine coming exclusively for the PlayStation 5. Of course, that's going to be around 2024, maybe 2025 at the latest, right? Because we have 2023 for Spider-Man uh, 2, which also looked phenomenal, and that is ps5 also exclusive both of those games they're only ps5 only now ever since we saw the reveal of wolverine this has actually brought back a particular topic that i've mentioned numerous times in numerous podcasts whether it be xbox or playstation or hell i even think we talked about on rgt a few brief times not even like as crazy as like a big topic right but we kind of nonchalantly jumped into that conversation so to speak as they needed a counter i think we said this with game on daily so you kind of get where i'm going with this what we need to talk about, this video is a dedication strictly to it because this is kind of something that really needs to be fixed. Microsoft, regardless of how you might stand on superhero games, regardless if the superhero in general might not, you know, might not cater to you or you're not a fan of the whole superhero genre, you need to understand this right here. The whole superhero genre as a whole is an avenue to bigger and more eyes on a product of this of this sorts. The fact that Sony has established himself as the Marvel superhero video game console with the release of Spider-Man Miles Morales, with the release of Spider-Man 2018, which did phenomenal. Both of those games did good. And of course, you have Spider-Man 2, which has everybody buzzing. You have Wolverine, which shocked the world. The fact that Sony's already established themselves in this field and already has eyes further on them with the announcement of wolverine this should further be proof that microsoft needs that type of exposure now i'm not saying microsoft needs to go with what the rumors are talking about right because i see everybody saying acquisition this acquisition that i don't really pay attention to the whole acquisition uh, acquisi um acquisition thing i was about to say accusation but i don't pay attention to the acquisition thing the reason why i don't pay attention to the acquisition i would just wait to confirmation before we start throwing every single thing at a dartboard granted microsoft has the financial backing to make crazy purchases like this absolutely but i don't really think we need to really throw everything out here i think it's best time we wait and see what's up and see what's going to happen but if i was a betting man and i want and i really think if microsoft wanted to make a statement it would more likely be wb montreal i mean let's keep it a buck it makes sense to have Microsoft be the home of DC. Granted, again, a lot of people are going to be looking very weird at the situation because if they bought DC, did that mean it would be Xbox and PC only? But you kind of get where I'm going with this anyway. Microsoft needs their counter. They need some counter of some sort. I mean, I'm surprised Microsoft hasn't even went to Marvel and gotten Deadpool made for the Xbox. I'm surprised Microsoft never went to Rocksteady and, you know, struck a deal with WB Games to get a sequel to Arkham Knight made or, you know, a repackage, a redone of the entire series for Xbox. I'm just saying, there are tons of things that Microsoft could be doing that they're not doing. And this right here is the type of stuff that just helps the narrative continue to go forward. There's a reason why everybody's talking about Sony when it comes to superhero and Marvel because Sony and Marvel simply work. They make these games work. Spider-Man 2018 was seen as a love letter to fans. Miles Morales was a nice expansion. Everybody has their eyes on Spider-Man 2 just off of the success of those two games. And of course, with Wolverine already being talked about being a mature rated game, the eyes are even bigger on the product for Wolverine. So you kind of get where I'm going with this. That's the type of stuff Microsoft needs. Microsoft needs a Deadpool game that is mature rated. That would do wonders for the Xbox. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll do wonders to the brand. Especially if you had that day one in Game Pass. Like you want to push, right? Why not have that as an option? Why not have Batman be an option? Why not have The Flash? Why not do an Ant-Man game? So There's tons of characters. And yet... I don't see Microsoft putting the effort into. And the funny thing is, the feedback is there. There have been tons of gamers who have spoken their minds up about getting a, you know, a superhero game of some sort to combat Spider-Man 2018 at that time. But of course, we haven't got anything. And one of the biggest names that was mentioned before was Wolverine. But as you guys saw a couple weeks prior, that game is only going to be on PlayStation platforms, which again, 
is shocking to say the least. I don't even know what to really expect anymore, but it is something that Microsoft really needs to get on top of. And I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm being honest to all my Xbox viewers. That is something we need to definitely get fixed. That is something we need a counter to. It makes no sense that Sony is the only platform out here with its own first party superhero games. Why isn't Microsoft putting their team on stuff like that? Why aren't dream projects like that being funded? Why aren't you guys getting your own version of a Batman, you know? A damn Superman game. Why not a Superman game? There's tons of stuff. There's. T I'm pretty sure all these studios from Microsoft will be happy to make a superhero game, but they definitely need a counter. They definitely do. It makes no sense on Twitter, especially when we saw the reveal of Wolverine. It makes no sense. I saw a tweet saying, uh, you know, PlayStation fans get Spider-Man, Wolverine, this, that, and the third, and Microsoft just gets Guardians of the Galaxy because that's a third-party multiplat. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. If any character, if, I, if if Microsoft wants to be edgy, before I end this video, if Microsoft wants to be edgy, if any character I would love to see on the Xbox platform, and I think a lot of you will be on the floor with this, and you all will be happy for this, because it will be true, especially after seeing the character in Mortal Kombat. I would love to see Spawn on the Xbox. That would be lit. Microsoft knows how to make custom consoles, right? Can you guys imagine a Demon Hell Spawn custom Xbox controller slash console with the game? mature themed i'll be on board with that i'm just saying man options are what get are what pe um, keeps the eye on the product you know what i'm saying if you have the options that matter everybody's gonna get the product regardless sure you can have the deal with game pass absolutely but you need more incentive and stuff like this there's a reason why sony edges out microsoft every single time it's because they have so much incentive in different key categories the superhero genre is absolutely one of them and i don't think anybody would disagree at this point so that's a quick video for you guys yes i've been away my apologies i literally been revamping everything on the channel i've literally been doing other stuff besides scene i haven't been able to game as well so i've been gone so my apologies but hopefully you enjoyed this quick video for today i will see you guys tomorrow and y'all be good y'all be blessed